inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy, after a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy, our nation turned to Gerald Ford and a select handful of others. A new world order can emerge, a new era, freer from the threat of terror, stronger in the pursuit of justice, and more secure in the quest for peace. Back immediately. U.S. Senator says, absolutely. There's no question in my mind there is a complicity in the flow of drugs into this country, period. President Bush and Senator Kerry, their final debate, the setting, the American West, the candidates' last chance to go head to head. America is watching. Taxes, stem cell research, abortion, all that against the continuing backdrop of the war in Iraq and against terrorism here at home and also abroad. President George Bush and Senator John Kerry. You were both in Skull and Bone, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go on. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the web. Number 322. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, he's not the nominee. And, uh, but, uh, look, I look for. Are you prepared to lose? No, I'm not going to lose. You both were members of Skull and Bones, a secret society at Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. 322, a secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets, Ted. There are all kinds of secrets, Ted. But one thing is not a secret. I disagree with this president's direction that he's taking the country. We can do a better job, and I intend to do it. And we'll be watching. Wow. Huh. Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. Yeah. Unconfirmed. No. What Unconfirmed reports about Gaddafi being captured. Really? Unconfirmed. Yeah. It's, it, we've had too many. We've we've had a bunch of those before. We've had you know have him have had him captured a couple of times. Land of unconfirmed. Yes. We came. We saw. <laughs> he died. <laughs> he died. <laughs> After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy. Celebrations erupt in Libya after Colonel Gaddafi is shot dead. Graphic images of his body are broadcast around the world. He was wounded and captured as he tried to flee his home city of Sirte. Hello, how are you? Everyone all right? People are scared. That's why we're getting no reaction here. Who speaks English? I want one person. 
All right, you, you speak English? Look. Look, madam. We're here to help you. Okay? How many people are you on the boat? How many? 560. Okay. Now listen, everyone. You're now safe. You're now safe. This previously unseen footage was obtained by Vice News, filmed by the men of the Libyan Coast Guard. Libya serves as one of the busiest and most dangerous gateways for migrants being smuggled out of Africa into Europe. The flow of migrants has reached epic proportions since the nation's descent into civil war. This tweet from the president highlight and in fact strengthen the argument for a special prosecutor to conduct the investigation. Dark blazer, white shirt, red or blue pattern tie. This is the unchanging uniform of one of Washington's most respected insiders and the Justice Department's pick to lead the investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 election. The choice of Robert Mueller for special counsel has been met with unusual universal praise from both sides of the aisle. I think he's a person of great integrity. He'll be above politics. You will not push him around. Completely uh, unimpeachable in all respects. He will investigate the matter and follow the facts wherever they may lead. Mr. Director, can you clarify us, please, on what you've been able to verify and document concerning the flight path of 77 into the Pentagon? Did it go over Washington, D.C. first? Uh, I, I, I really can't comment on, uh, on what we have with regard to that particular flight. Is that the origin of some, if not all, of the hijackers? What can you say at this point about the national I, I'm not prepared to comment on that. He is the former FBI director who served 12 years in that job. He was actually held over two extra years before James Comey became the FBI director. He will have the full authority to investigate that any U.S. attorney would, including the power to file criminal charges. This is exactly what congressional Democrats have been pushing for. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed.